fun learning activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our activities focus on different topics such as science, history, health, and even art. Today, we're going to have our activity coordinators, Mercedes, Jala, and myself, Luis, they'll be helping you guys in today's video. So today, we're going to learn about the U.S. government. Now, for the vocabulary terms that we are going to learn in this video are only three terms, which are the branches of government. So, what do you guys think are the three branches of government in the United States? Well, there are the legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. So, let's talk about the first one, legislative branch, which they in fact make the laws of the United States. So, this is the branch of the government that includes both the Senate and the House of Representatives. So, there are a certain amount of number of senators and representatives. So, how many of you guys think are in the Senate? Well, there are 100 members in the Senate. How many of you guys think are in the House of Representatives? Well, if you said 435, you are correct. That's how many members are in each group. So, let's talk about the second term. The executive branch, which is a branch that of government headed by the president. This includes the president, the vice president, the cabinet members, and the executive department. So, basically, they make sure that the laws are in place. So, let's talk about the third one, the judicial branch, which is uh, the branch where mostly um, there are members of the Supreme Court and also federal courts. So, the Supreme Court is the highest court, and there are currently nine members in that branch. So, they make sure that, each, that the American people have equal justice based on the laws that they make in the United States. So, that is the vocabulary terms that we're gonna learn in this video, and we'll go to Mercedes that will show you guys a great activity you guys will do based on these terms. So, we'll go to her. Here are the things you will need for today's activity. First of all, you will need the handout that I created for you. Yes, it may be hard to believe, but I created this handout. Um, it took me a while, so hopefully you guys like it. You will also need some markers, a pen, some crayons, or some color pencils. And you will need a ruler. I have a ruler book, but a single ruler will work. And you will also need some scissors. So, let's start off by cutting off the excess um, white paper around the paper, so go ahead and grab your ruler. I'll be using this one. And as you can see with my pen, I'm going to go ahead and write where the end of like the banner thing is. I'm just going to draw a line like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. There should be a um, like a little line hanging at the end of the paper. Go ahead and put your ruler against it and make a line. And with your ruler, go ahead and measure where the end of all the little sticks are and draw a line. And do the same for the top. Like so just so we have an even piece of paper and as you can see you are going to cut this piece out this piece this piece and this piece so with your scissors go ahead and start cutting along the lines do not cut the picture cut around the picture we want to make um we're just cutting off the excess paper so make sure make sure to not cut the actual image the image may look weird but it needs to look weird in order for this to come together as you can see i cut out my long picture and as you can notice i did not cut any of the lines inside the picture i just cut out the border the excess white paper that we don't need for this activity so go ahead and throw this into the recycling bin and now you should be left with this weird funky looking picture you might be like why does it look like that well towards the end when we look at a paper at a certain way we'll be able to see one image at a time 
At this time, go ahead and use some scissors, color, and uh, not scissors, crayons, uh, color pencils, or markers to start drawing or coloring in your um, outline that you have in front of you. So I'm gonna be using color pencils and markers because I don't have any crayons with me. But I'm going to go ahead and color mine in and you can color yours in too. I'm gonna go ahead and color my stars yellow. While you guys go ahead and start coloring in your handout that you were given, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you some fun facts or some fun or some facts that you might have known about George Washington as a little refresher. So the first um, fact about George Washington and the most obvious one is that he was our first president of the United States. His term started on April 30th, 1789, and it ended March 4th, 1797 with his vice president, John Adams. Um, since he was the first president of the United States, the United States did not have a capital yet. So after his presidency was over a few years later, when they decided where the capital was going to be, they named it after George Washington. That is why our capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. Um, another fun fact is that his face can be seen carved into Mount Rushmore in South Dakota Black Hills National Forest. And along George Washington, um, they also have Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Roosevelt. In addition, George Washington is a national hero because he was the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army throughout the American Revolutionary War. In his leadership, the Continental Army won against the British and the United States of America was formed as an independent state. Once we became an independent state, we decided on the national board bird to be the bald eagle. Many, it wasn't between a bald eagle or a turkey, but they decided to go with the bald eagle and the eagle is the other picture that can be seen with George Washington. I accidentally folded mine already, but that's okay. I'll just show you how to fold it, even though mine already has the creases. So go ahead and flip your paper over. And with your ruler, you're going to go ahead and find the line from the other side. And once you have the line and the ruler matched up, go ahead and fold it towards the ruler. And the image should be facing you now. Once you fold it against the ruler, go ahead, slide out the ruler and with your finger fold. Now flip it over and place your ruler right there against the line again and fold inward. And you'll see the same image we saw from our folds. first fold. Go ahead, pull out the ruler, fold again flip it over place your ruler on the line and fold fold again we're basically doing the same exact thing as we did when we folded the coffee filters for the butterfly activity but this time we're doing it with a rectangle piece of paper now Flip, place your ruler on the line and fold. The reason why we're using the ruler is so we fold right where the line is. That way this comes together and we get a perfect fold. Placing the line to the ruler and folding. Fold, fold, turn it around. Fold. And you're just going to go ahead and keep repeating it. Like I said, I accidentally folded mine earlier. So I'm just going to finish folding mine because mine has the creases already. And place my ruler to the side. And once you finally are done folding your papers, it will look like this. Go ahead and flip it over. And you're like, 
what's the point of this? Well, basically, grab it, place it facing you, and tilt it to the right. You'll see that the second image disappears and the first image connects together and you'll be able to see the image perfectly. Go ahead and tilt it to the left. The eagle will disappear and you'll see George Washington. It's pretty cool. Let me try to do it on camera so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, if not, it looks way better in person. But yeah, that's the whole activity for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really simple, fun activity about George Washington. And I'll let Jala finish off this video so you learn a little bit more about the government. And yeah, take it away, Jala. Hello, everyone. So how did you guys like that activity? Great, me too, I loved it. So, way, 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 way back in the day, a group of men known as the Founding Fathers created this extra long piece of paper that we call the U.S. Constitution. And basically, they made this paper because they wanted to make sure that our new American government was not run the same as the British colonial government was. For example, way back when in Britain, one man had way too much power, like a king. And one area of government had way too much power over the others. So when we had our great US founded by our founding fathers and their creation, of the Constitution, they made sure to create three branches of government known as checks and balances, right? And these forms of government were used and still are used to keep every other form of government along with our president in line with others and checks them if they get too out of control. Thank you guys so much for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we'll be back with more videos. Okay, bye guys.